Okay guys, we are back with another White Dwarf video and this is June 2022, White Dwarf 477, and as you'll see, we've got loads of freebies here, um, so not in the middle of the magazine this time, just separate to it, and a little taste of what to expect in the magazine, we've got some more cry cards, um, don't really like how they're double-sided, but still really nice. Um, so a lot of stuff from um, Warhammer Underworlds being transferred over to Warcry as well. Um, I just want to move this black one down a little bit. Um, so these are some stickers with Chaos Kate Demon Hunters. There's also a code for um, unlock a unique weapons skin. Um, I'll probably never use it, but I'm not going to flash it to the camera either. Channel phone update for Flesh Eater Quartz, and we've got Corn Berserkers. Come try it, and come Zackers again. And we'll look at them in more detail. And then we've got World Eaters um, stratagems as well. So all that before we even open the book, or magazine I should say. And lovely Flesh Eater Quartz and Stormcast artwork. So yeah, it's Flesh Eater Quartz, you're getting a little update. But not only them, also World Eaters. So we knew this was coming. And yeah, there's actually lots of really cool ruled content in this White Dwarf. It's a really good one, so buckle up. <laughs> anyway, we start with the contact, as always. Some beautiful miniatures. Really nice stuff. Worlds of Warhammer, talking about narrative campaigns. Which are always great fun if you haven't tried one. I highly recommend it. And then we have Tome Celestial and a Tale of Four Warlords. Before that, we have the Realm of Fire and Realmscapes. I apologise if there's a bit of a glare. I don't, um, I don't like filming over here, but I don't really have much of a choice today. Um, I know it's been a bit of a pain in the past. Uh, but yeah, Tome Celestial. We are looking at fleshy quartz. So. Their little update. Lots of fluff. War scroll update for the Charnel Throne. And for heroic actions. Open play rules, match play, grand strategies, and battle tactics. And path to glory. And some campaign rules as well. Battle plan. And then we have the war cry, so yeah, um Rules for using the latest Warhammer Underworlds Harrow Deep Warband, so they're all in the book as well, as the cards. So we've got Crawl Boys for Thunderstrike Stormcasts. The Ogremore Tribes and the Soulbite Grave Lords. So yeah, really cool. I love how it's just so easy to transfer almost any miniature over to Warcry and make warbands really easily out of the um, Warhammer Underworld stuff, it's really nice. Got some battle plans as well. Tale of Four Warlords. So these beautiful Age of Sigma armies are playing a big old battle. Got the army, army lists, and then the army shots. So beautiful. I'm just absolutely in love with the Caesar Sigma, just absolutely love them. And the Lumineth as well, I mean, together they're they very contrasting next to each other, but they're both beautiful in their own ways. And of course the Slanesh is absolutely stunning, as is the Chaos. Just absolutely spectacular armies, and it's been great following them, and seeing them do a big old battle, and in normal, traditional battle report fashion, I will skip through it, because we don't want to give away a result for anyone who don't want to be spoiled. And we go into 40k, so straight into Index Hereticus for the World Ears. And, as always, a bit of fluff. Lots of fluff. Lots of fluff. So we have Legion Trait. We have a little bit about Khan and the Corn Berserkers and the Mount of Corn. Warlord Traits there as well. Stratagems and Relics. Berserker Glaive, Banner of Rage, Crimson Killer, Gorefather, Blood Hunger. 
Very cool, I'm so looking forward to the Codex. Uh, Kana Betrayer and Corn Berserkers, their updates. Um, hopefully when they release new Corn Berserkers they'll have a load more weapon options. Um, it's just one stat line for the chain blade now, so not even the axes and the um, chainsaws are separate stat lines. A little bit of fiction, lots of kill, maims and burns. And then uh, Galactic War Hosts and we just have loads of beautifully painted World Eater miniatures. So many of them. And some nice conversions in there as well. Yeah, really nice. And there's more. Conrad uh, Zelensky. Hope I've pronounced that right. Probably not. Just, I absolutely love this army. I love how the blue really pops against the red. And then we have a little paint splatter as well. Or blood splatter, as they've named it this month. It's very cool. And some little alternatives as well the Bras and Beasts and the Wrath. That was a lot of corn. As so Agnes from Warp is talking about Renegade and Chaos Knights. We have Horus Heresy Zone Mortalis rules, which is awesome. So cool. And my first Horus Heresy segment with a new version, I believe. So loads of rules for Zone Mortalis. A mission to go with it as well. And then we've got a Necromunda gang. So essentially they're sort of um, renegade and forces. So we've got proper gang list for them as well. We've got the captain, sergeant. We've got equipment lists from both. And we've got your gangers. And your hive scum as well. Equipment list for everyone in there. We've got little conversions. Really cool, and um, like I say, there's lots of rules in here, so really good. Uh, some more um, Airs of Reason. Lots of that. They are quite good to read some of these um, stories in the White Dwarfs, so I do recommend them. And then inside the studio, um, Hobby Bingo is something I have not done for ages. I've been really sort of focusing on getting stuff for Horus Heresy together. Um, I must start getting back in, because my, my, for those who haven't been following or aren't aware, my hobby bingo for this year is just doing stuff um, that I haven't bought. So just anything in the pile of shame. I'm trying to fill the thing up with pile of shame stuff. And I started well, but Horace Heresy has just led me astray. And a little bit of hobby bingo spotlight. How like, yeah, Matthew Hudson is absolutely killing it. And that is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. So next issue, Kill Team Kill Zones. And that's going to be the 15th of July. So yeah, another White Dwarf. And yeah, I really like this one. Lots of cool rules and stuff in there. So definitely worth picking up if you're fans of Necromunda, Horus Heresy, or World Eaters, or Flesh Eater Courts, essentially. Yeah, really cool. So yeah, that was the White Dwarf for this month. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And you can subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Um, we do one of these every month, plus lots of other videos, and I've got a sneeze coming, so I'm going to end it right there. Um, thank you so much for watching.